Μαζί μας από το Johannesburg είναι ο Γιώργος Μπίζος. Joining us from Johannesburg is George Bezos, a personal friend of Nelson Mandela and the man who defended him as no one else did under apartheid. He was his lawyer, would always visit him in prison and has written a book about him. Thank you for being with us on Euronews. My pleasure. I'm happy to be able to speak to Greece and the other countries of the world. How would you describe Mandela? He sacrificed his life for the good of the people of South Africa, the people of the African continent and of the world. What moment of your friendship stands out most for you? It was the fact that he didn't want to be president for more than one term. He wanted to set an example for South Africa's politicians and probably to those all over Africa, where presidents usually stay in for life. They say they believe in democracy, but in reality they become dictators. How did you meet him? I met Nelson Mandela for the first time at university in 1948. He was older and became a lawyer before I did. In 1954, a court judge demanded who he was. He said, I'm Nelson Mandela and I'm a lawyer. Then the judge demanded, where's your lawyer's certification paper? He answered that he didn't have it with him and the judge said, go away, I don't give you the right to speak to the court. He assigned the case to me, we won and from then on we became best friends. You often visited Mandela on Robben Island, where he spent 18 of the 27 years he was in prison. What do you remember from that time? He was optimistic that one day the people of South Africa would win their freedom, democracy and equality. When I went to the island for the first time, he came out with eight jailers in the midst of these eight men. I hugged him and he asked me about his family. Then suddenly he said to me, George, I haven't been in here in prison for a long time, but I've already lost my manners and become a brute. I forgot to introduce you to my royal guard. And he introduced me to each of his jailers. When he retired from power, he stayed out of politics, with one exception, AIDS. Why? Because it was a secret disease. They didn't admit it existed. He lost his first son to AIDS. The family didn't want it known. Mandela insisted it be made public. He found fault with former President Mbeki for not doing enough to deal with the problem of AIDS which is a serious problem in South Africa. Thank you very much for joining us on Euronews.